This is Cold's 30 kill win in solo victory finals. I think this is his fifth 30 bomb. So Cold has now dropped five 30 kill wins in solo victory finals. I swear he's the most underrated player on NA. I know that sounds crazy. My man's one FNCS, but he's won two duo cash cups this season and five 30 bombs in solo victory finals. And people just don't gas him up. Everyone's talking about Poyo, Peterbot, Reed. Cold's doing it, man. He's just chill. He's just way more chill about it. And he does it on stream too. He streamed this. All right, so he starts at fencing. I'm seeing way more of the good games come out of fencing now than snooty. I think guaranteed mythic AR with guaranteed purple pump and center map is way better than going snooty. It just seems to be more effective. He lands on the north side of fencing. I wonder if that's just he just drops anywhere at fencing where there's no one. Doesn't seem like he like targets one specific area. Don't even think he has a drop map. Yeah, you got berries for shields. You got shield barrels. The vault's really solid. You've got a shield truck. Like, it's just... I just think fencing feels the best POI for good games. Ooh. There's a lot of material here. I think it's just a really good drop. I'm interested to see how many kills he gets off drop. So far, Peterbot gets a lot of kills early in mid-game. And I think there's a couple rotating zones there that's really letting Peterbot down for the 40 bombs. Where I feel like every time I watch Cold, he drops a lot of kills in endgame. He's just got that insane aim. Has someone already started? Damn, someone's already on the boss, bro. This is being quick. Oh, he just... Oh, he just runs at them. Okay. Oh, no. It's Pyro. <laughs> no. Pyro's like, how many... A 25-month sub to me. Oh, and he's in my Twitch chat right now. Pyro, I'm so sorry, bro. You just got absolutely destroyed. <laughs> That's so rough, dude. Well, at least we have you to thank for that. If you somehow, like, bail, bailed him out, we wouldn't have had the 30 bombs. So, honestly, thanks, bro. W-U. No, Tracy, you good. Tracy, again. Oh, I was about to say, that's... Tracy, you don't got a sub. 200... I was about to say the biggest problem with this POI is the vault. It's the rattiest the vault. It's the easiest one to sneak here, 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 here. into. But my God, Cold was aware. You're going to have to take the mask to the face. Dude, the easy piece. I focus so much on Cold's aim that I do forget his edits and builds are really nice too. Oh my God. How does he just know where everyone is? <gasps> Cheetah. It's so hard to figure out when people are sneaking up on you at the vault POIs because of all the footsteps from the AI, though. He has zero delay. I mean, he's boot camping in Dallas, so he's living in Dallas right now. He's moved for FNCS, Cheer so me, he's me. got that good ping. Cheer also, I'm sure you guys already saw, but they finally added the Chapter 5 weapons into Creative. So if you guys do want to play a map that's fully updated with all the new weapons, Super Fun Zone Wars map with 15 different game modes to keep it fresh, check it out. It's Minigame Zone Wars. Code's on the screen or look up Minigame in Fortnite. It'll come up. It is a fantastic map. I promise you it's some of the best practice and most fun in Fortnite right now. Try it out. I guarantee you'll enjoy it. So Cold's doing with Acorn. They've won two duo cash cups so far this season as well. Two duo cash cup finals. So Reed and Ritual, Cold and Acorn are tied for two wins. So looking good to win FNCS this season, honestly. We'll see. We'll see. Gets the bounty. I guess just to have someone to target. Revived Muscle 38. Wearing the Rainbow Pigeon skin. I'm not going to lie. If I see that bounty, I'm probably keying it as well. I think Revived Muscle might need to ch chuck the little anon on. Yeah, and they're currently getting Uncon Fencing Fields at this point on NA. So if they make grands with Uncon Fencing Fields, I think Acorn and Cole might be bringing it home. Oh, he is straight keying him. Okay. Only... Oh, so what do we got? We got... We got three kills walking out of fencing fields. This is why fencing's so good. You have so many options to key. Like, do you go towards Snooty now? Do you key? Like, this spot always has at least one to two players because this is where Mongol and Savage drops. There's a bunch of fanboys. Also, you know, I made a TikTok on this drop spot, so, like, it's super famous now. Like, everybody knows about it. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. Wait. Oh, my God. Revive Muscle just maxed him. Wait. Okay, I need to chill, maybe. Revive Muscle might be the GOAT. Never mind. Hey, JDC, thank you so much for the tune for two months. Appreciate you, appreciate you, appreciate you, appreciate you. Dude lulled him into a false sense of security that. and then almost you, put you, him you, down. You see, though, like, that's, that's, like, my, that's like my business move. Like, I'm on the maximum ad, so if you want to watch, you've got to hit that sub button. You hear me? You hear me? Wow. You hear me? Like, I'm just, oh, my God, who's doing it like me? Hey, I'm dead. <laughs> I respect the honesty from Cold here. I respect yeah, the honesty. Most pros are doing the same thing, but they're not so blatantly honest about it. Okay, so we're going to a Pleasant Piazza now. So he's not going towards Snooty. Because, like, man, Mythic AR straight into Mythic Pump is so good. I wonder if he runs the Mythic Auto Shotgun if he finds it. Probably not. Cold's very well known for his pump aim. I feel like he's probably a pump player over an auto player. Then again, most pros are meaning the uh, pump over auto. Except for Clicks. Clicks oh, one of the few, the like, tier one fighting pros that actually prefers the auto. What are we doing there, bro? 
Six Elims, 62 alive. All right, so he's got a pretty consistent pacing so far. He runs no sniper as well, which is interesting. Double meds, AR shotgun. I wonder if he gets multiple medallions if he starts only running single meds. This is great too. You get to key oh the forecast tower. Three people. Oh, wait, there might be NPCs. There's a lot of people here though, and he's straight in. Okay. Oh, he doesn't get the he doesn't get forecast tower. I don't think he really cares about forecast tower though, to be honest. I think it's because players are here to kill. That guy's so bad. Oh, tracking. Four and a half, three, five. Yeah, so we just got everything now. We're pretty much the only upgrade we need right now is the Sunni shotgun, which I'm guessing we're gonna key next because it's right next to us. Oh my god, homie is building. Oh, okay. Wait, this player looks somewhat okay. You think so? He made them look bad, but that guy was actually all right. Eight Elims, and he's gone from fencing to the forecast tower. Three med kits, full Fizzberry jar. The Fizzberry jar is really nice because you get the low grab effect too for King. I mean, it's just why he didn't go for the launch pad there. I guess he would have had to tank a bit of zone for it, maybe. Cold plays very confidently. Very, very confidently. He knows he's going to... He, he's happy to take aim doors because he knows he's going to max them. Oh, nice high walls though. How does he know? How does he know that's where the player is going to pop out? Based on that grapple sound effect, how does he know that's exactly where the player is going to be? Am I dumb? Am I old? How many of you actually thought that player was going to pop up exactly in that spot? He literally had his cursor exactly where he fell into. Footsteps, homie. Visual audio is not that good. Bro, like, what is the other kid doing? All right, we're happy to storm fight, which you kind of have to be if you're going to drop 30 bombs. Oof. Pretty far north zone pool here, and the snooty play is still here. Mr. Snooty Pump is still here. I think that's him there. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my God, I wish that player was in that box. Oh, this guy's good. He tried to drop him down to fall damage. That guy was pretty solid. I like that floor edit there, but man, Cole was not falling for it. Jeez, those builds were nice. Oh my God. In a normal solo victory cup finals, the game would be over right now. Like you're not winning this game unless you drop a 30 bomb. Because if this goes to a heal off at all, the amount of Storm he's tanked so far is crazy. Remember though, Storm Sickness is damage taken, not time spent in Storm. For a while there, Storm Sickness was how much time you spent in Storm. So if you were in Storm for a one tick or a 10 tick, it was the same. But now that it's damage taken, you can be in Storm for, yeah, 10 seconds in a one tick for every one second you're in a 10 tick. So it's not as bad to tank Storm at this point, but Cold's not planning to play for heal off. My man is not letting this go to heal off. He either drops the 30 bomb or dies trying. This lobby, yeah, if he got a more stacked lobby, I think I feel like his pacing's been pretty good. He's been closing fights out decently quick. He found a bunch of players, but this game really died yeah, out quickly. Like oh, you'd be surprised. Majority of the, the T1 pros don't use edit on release. I know it seems crazy because like edit on release, like you press less buttons, it's faster, but most of the good pros actually don't use it. It messes up their peaks and they have so much muscle memory of regular edits that it just feels weird to change it. Oh, Cold is extremely nonchalant. He'll be talking to his chat the entire time. I've said it before. Cold's nightly like rank streams... Him, Tahi, Cash, like that whole friend group, Death, they're actually some of the biggest vibes on Twitch. Four, like, it's always four really good pros like who actually get along really well and have good personalities. They're I'm mad fun to watch. I'm just washed right now, Brody Cheese. <laughs> oh, Cash, okay. I don't think we're going to stop for a Cash. We don't really have much to gain from this. He's one of the only pros I see take a lot of AR shots at range. He's not hitting crazy amounts of damage for it, but I would rather get close to someone than try to hit him for like 20 at a distance and then have them just run like this, you know? Oh. Am I know. It's kind of weak. This is where the sniper would be so nice. I feel like if, I feel like once you get three medallions, carrying like sniper instead of the big pots here is so nice for trying to drop 30 bombs. No way he's in the dumpster. Okay. <laughs> the homie got in the trash can. Oh, I respect the attempt, man. Honestly, med kits better for the heal off. Definitely don't do this unless you're dropping 30 bombs. Med kits way better for the heal off than floppers. But if you're trying to key, being able to instantly pop flops is so nice. 30, yeah, 35. Okay, so he's slowing down the pace a little bit here. He's only gained, he's only gained two kills, and 10 players have just died. So he really picks up the pace from now. As I was saying earlier, Peterbot by this point would normally have like 20 kills. And then it seems like Peterbot doesn't get as many on rotating zones. I'm intrigued to see how many cold gets here on rotating. It must be a lot. 
Oh, nice read. I think Cole's a good pro to watch to improve your fighting skills because he really doesn't try to be too fancy. He's happy to just stand there and hold his shotgun out when he needs to. Seems like he's really struggling to find people. Wait, did he see someone? I didn't see anything. I don't know what he's looking for right now. This end game is about to be extremely spicy though. I'm all for infinite grapples, but I really think this grapple, if they're going to keep it in the game, you need to take full damage if you get shot during it. Infinite grapple's fun to keep the pace up, but you, you can't just oh, sit on high ground and... Ooh, my man's hiding. You can't just sit on high ground and grapple off every time. I think it's too cheesy. What the fuck? How many people are here, bro? Dude, home is just camping inside the house. There's a lot of players who do this, though. Struggle to find people because they're all just sitting inside buildings on cones and right hands and stuff like that. Oh, so cold actually? Okay. This is where That's I feel so like deep. players like Peterbot or Poyo or even like Polarized or Reet probably don't even try to pop the big pot. They probably just keep pushing all these players around them to make sure they get maximum kills. That might be what's stopping, like, Cold from getting those high 30 Elim games like Peterbot. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. Damn. Dude almost gets him, though. Now we got to heal. We're out of... Oh, never mind. There's the extra big pots. Never mind. Oh. So he's trying to use the Venny machine. So even though he's going for the 30 bomb, he wanted to try and use the Venny machine to buy a make it to hold on to the four floppers. So he's really trying to prioritize saving the floppers for those instant white heals. Again... I feel like oh, Peterbot and the, the players dropping too. high 30 bombs. He's just out. don't even worry about that. They're just like, pop what mez they have. Like, go, go, go. And there's a make here right there. <laughs> my D's ruined on guard. On guard, just, my D's ruined. He just stopped to look at the med kit because he's angry that he didn't see it. Okay, yeah. Cold is... Maybe Cold's just not trying as hard as Peterbot, honestly. This is a very nonchalant 30 bomb. My man's talking to chat. <laughs> he's like, stopping to read subs. My man's memeing, staring at med kits. He's, it kind of looks like he's trying to be like extra fancy too. This guy's an auto shotgun chat. Oh, nice read on the drop down. He's got really good reads. Really good reads. Oh, did he did he blank him? Oh, it oh, went down wow. to full damage anyway. Never mind. But yes, the aim is really, really nice. Definitely Cold's biggest strength. That's why Cold does so on a grand finals lobby. Again, if you guys didn't see it, a bit of the Kanata Peterbot beef on the timeline. Kanata calling out Peterbot and saying he's not a, you know, he's not a land player, he's not a stack lobby player. Cold can do the fancy mechs, but Cold's aim is what's going to be the most important playing a Grand's final lobby. That's why Cold and Acorn won FNCS. That was also on the back of Cold pulling off some insane solo clutches. That was the FNCS where a lot of people were calling out Acorn saying you got carried. But Cold is just a really solid solo clutcher because even in a stack lobby, he doesn't need to do too much. Ooh. Mr. Pump there as I just hyped up his aim. Is he going to go for a Kanata peak or a Martos peak? And oh, never mind gonna go for a regular peek okay oh mythic smg or mythic ar i'm intrigued to see what he does here i think he's gonna hold on to the mythic ar most players would i think one of the only pros i see run the mythic smg instead is polarized polarized really likes the mythic hyper smg this is a good zone this is a pretty good zone it's mostly vanilla no massive elevation no water nothing to like really kill it out i'm noticing he's only now targeting the medallion players Previously, he was looking around the map trying to spot people and he wasn't really going for the medallion specifically, which is quite interesting. Normally, that's like the first indicator of, you know, where players are, the pros will start pushing towards. This game really died out though. There's only 26 alive. He has 16 kills, which is a lot. But honestly, I think Cold got really unlucky with this lobby. If this lobby was a more normal lobby, I really think this could have been the 40 bomb. I don't think he's been playing this slow. He's finishing the fights pretty quick once he takes them, but there was obviously another pro or someone in this lobby that killed this lobby out. It should have been a lot more stacked than this. And oh, never mind. We might have found we might have found the other pro. Nice angles from this guy. Okay, now it's starting to slow down. Just as I said that, this guy's putting up a pretty solid fight, and this is going to cost him a good like couple minutes. Now he's got to rotate. Let's see if he can slide in. Oh, he doesn't go for the slide in. I think this is actually the most amount of kills we've seen in one of these 30 bomb videos outside of the box. He's really not just phasing in or, you know, this, again, we haven't seen a single momentum phase in, my favorite word, when watching these 30 and 40 bomb games. He really has gotten most of these kills outside the box or wall to wall. Oh, here we go. Now he's trying to phase in. Oh my God, this guy is annoying me now. Please die. And he's just eating floppers. So now he's got even more health. Oh my god, 53 white. If he hits this guy white one more time and he doesn't die, I swear. There it is. The phase in. Nice. 
We needed that material too. We're down to only like 500 material. That's bad. If the next person puts up a really good fight, this could really slow down the pace. Yeah, he's running out of material. He's got to be careful now. He actually has to play this smart. See if you can take a wall here. Oh, smart. Smart. If That's probably what you should learn from this video. If you aren't called Peterbot, Polarize, etc., play like that guy. If you're getting keyed by someone who you know is really, really good, like you know you've got Reed in your lobby, that is the best way to do it. Wait till they get on your wall. Wait till they try to take it or reset. Pull out that auto shotgun and just... You got one shot. You got to hit your shot. Step out and just pray. Hopefully you hit them for double max. Because unfortunately, if you don't kill them then, they will probably get distance and just beat you. But both these last two players have almost taken down Cold. It seems body. It seems newbie. But honestly, you got to do what you got to do. $100 on the line. A win's a win. Even better if you can if you can hug the left side of the wall from your POV so they can't right hand peek you. Sorry, hug the right side of the wall even. Because they're going to try and get a right hand peek on their wall. And if you just hug the far right, it's a lot harder. Obviously, a good player will go for a bottom left edit and then they can shoot and you can't shoot back. But almost every good player will try and default to a peanut butter top right. This has been a... A tough 30 bomb though. This lobby was was like this is honestly one of the worst lobbies I've ever seen to try and drop a 30 bomb in. Alright, 545. At least we got the material, but we're running into some tough opponents right now. Even the ones that aren't very good are still at least cheesing him in. Oh. Yep. That's the cold aim I was talking about. Good god, that tracking was beautiful. I think that was a quad dink. Alright, zone pulling up the elevation, but again, it's not a massive mound, which is good. Ooh. Oh no. I think his grapple got stuck right behind him. Oh, I was going to say, I haven't seen Cold take too many walls for being on zero ping in, in Dallas. 22 elims, 17 alive. So he gets eight of the next 16 opponents, which is pretty good on rotating zones. But it's not as stacked as some of the other rotating zones games we've seen. Still holding on to the, uh, the med kits and the big pots. We only have three medallions. There's still two other medallions in the lobby. Usually by this point, you'd expect him to have four or even five medallions. What, what is that sound? Fuck? What the... F what is that sound? No, don't tell me he gets the audio glitch. Oh, come on. I don't want to watch the rest of this game. Oh, thank God. Oh, my God. Thank God. I could just see my average view duration on this video just plummeting. If that bug was going to be in the whole endgame. I got that bug the other day and I left the game because of it. I literally couldn't be bothered playing it out. Oh, nice. 73 wide. Cold's really good at pre-fires. Happy to hold his shotgun out on the opponent's wall and just know that he's going to shoot first. All right, we got high ground, but I'm guessing we're not going to stay on high ground. It's usually not worth it when you're trying to go for kills. 187 white. Oh, nice. Okay. You're going to go for the pre-fire? Ooh. Play is decent. Tried to third party that one, assuming Cold was weak. Didn't realize Cold took zero damage in that engagement. And we're up to 24 kills. Five, one and a half, four for the material. So more than enough mads. And oh. Struggling to keep the momentum going on rotating zones. This is usually the curse of most of the players' 40 bombs right now. Gonna try and prioritize front side. Looks like we're just gonna go for box fights. Oh. Oh, that guy was decent. That same guy really put a lot of pressure on Poyo this, this game. Yeah, I think that is the difference. Smikey, the Middle East player, we watched drop his 30 bomb. He got a lot of his eliminations in Endgame. A lot of them. But he was just fully getting in. Such a risky play style. Oh, chop on the sky base. Sweaty sweats ruining everything, man. Some pros make Fortnite look really hard. Cold actually makes it look easy. Like, I feel like some aspects of this I could do. I know I couldn't. And I'm sure I would be dead so many times in these situations. But it's just something about Cold's playstyle that just... It seems attainable. Like, I could do this. But I don't think I can. I know I can't. <laughs> but it feels like I can. Is that crazy? Top five. Looks like we're not going to heal off. Luckily, because we don't have the white meds. And we've also tanked a lot of Storm this game. Like, I watched Peterbot and I'm like, I could never in a million years do this. Like, you give me this... Like... I could have the next 20 years to try to get Peter Bot or Polarized Mechanics, and I'm not getting it. But I watched this from Cold, and I'm like, maybe I could do this. But obviously, I can't. <laughs> so. Oh, dead zero material. Wait a second. We're down to zero builds. 
Hold up. Wait, this finish is clutch. We're going to kill two of the next three players. We have dead zero builds. And we're playing it in zone. I think, I think it's a grapple high ground play. Oh, no, we're going to chop. Okay, I would have grappled up on height and I'd be dead. So there you go. Already. And oh, my God. Nice shot. Oh, my God. Nice shot. That's the cold aim. Oh, my God. Nice shot. All right. Well, that's the cold aim. Damn. 30 bomb win. I think the only player on NA to get a 30 bomb this week as well.